So AJ Martinez says, it's freaking exhausting watching these players talking too much and being cocky and throwing helmets. I would knock my son out on national TV if he threw his helmet. Flying helmets are dangerous. Bad example to the kids watching. No, shout out to AJ. He said that early today too, bro. It was like almost, I think it was before noon when he sent that chat in. So he definitely felt that in his spirit. And I can respect it, man. Um, You know, briefly talking about the conference championship games, man. It was a lot of self-inflicted stuff. You know, when you're talking Baltimore specifically, you can make the same case for Detroit. But, um, yeah, man, when you talk about not being able to handle your emotions and your passion in these games, regardless of how good of a play or not good of a play it might have been, you still got to have better self-control. And we saw it directly impact that team in two ways, right? After a big-time play, big catch by Zay Flowers, he gets up, spins the ball on the cap, flexes on him, and stares him down. 15-yard, a ton, right? Changes the whole outcome of that drive. Then you go back and you talk, you know, Zay Flowers diving into the end zone. Unfortunately, ball gets punched out, turnover, right? Flips out, slamming the helmet, damages his hand on the sideline. It's like, bro that's not the answer either man it's like it's okay to be upset it's okay to be really passionate about it because man as a dude that's also played an AFC championship game yeah you're going psycho because you understand that I am literally one victory away from playing in the Super Bowl it is a feeling unlike anything and when you lose or are losing in that game man it is the absolute worst feeling also you want to talk about dudes ready to kill each other dudes ready to lose it all that's when it happens in them type of moments, man. So, you know, seeing him kind of react the way that he did, I get it because of the passion. But at the same time, what are we talking about here, right? You're almost going to hurt yourself. And granted, it could have been worse. Granted, it wasn't. But it's like you're compromising your own ability to help this team while also hurting this team by just being immature at times. And it wasn't just Zay. We could look at Roquan Smith also, man. It was multiple other guys at times that just – to me, I thought that they were so focused on proving a point that were more tougher that they kind of shut off their ability to think while being in those uh, heated situations where I thought for Kansas City, man, you saw that was the difference. They were matching their energy, but it wasn't in the sense of I'm trying to show you that, you know, I'm, I could piss further than you. You know what I mean? It was more like, bro, we're confident as heck and we know we're going to take it here and we're going to see if you can catch us. Whereas I thought Baltimore was more so anything they did, they just wanted to show them up and that's just a different mindset when you're in those type of games when you're talking about critical execution and if you think about it to me that was a big difference in those games I thought Baltimore definitely had a better team but they weren't as buttoned up with the little stuff whereas you saw Kansas City a team that's been in the moments before you know that whole championship pedigree and, and metal it really started to show I thought well, and I, I think the coaching was a huge difference, too. I would agree, because man. Because. Shout out to Spagnuolo, bro. The Ravens just completely lost it. They, mm -hmm. I, I don't, they just malfunctioned. Mm -hmm. The thing that they did so good to get them where they're at in yeah. the AFC Championship, they just decided not to do. Only because they were down like seven points. That was it. They it, stopped running the ball. They felt, stopped handing it off to the running They backs. made it seem like the game was a two, three score game. They and just, it they really just kept wasn't. having Lamar drop back and just say, yeah. hey, figure something out, do something. And then mm -hmm. Kansas City was getting really good pressure on the market. They were, yeah. And that was the thing, too. Like, I thought Kansas City's defense, um, it didn't get talked about enough throughout the back half of the season, but you even think about postseason. They didn't put two at a rest. Second half, put Josh Allen to rest. And then second half, what they did to Lamar Jackson as well. Three finalists to an extent, for the or variations of MVP finalists this season. Two of them dudes directly finalists. And it's like, man, that – to back to back one at the crib two on the road that's another part that i don't think is talked about also but it's like man the way that that team is playing and responding right now and with that coaching staff the way that they putting them in the best situations it doesn't matter who they're it's like yo you know travis kelsey is the guy but everybody else is just like man they figuring out ways to get the best out of all of those dudes man and he takes one more I, don't, I thought he played well. Just, you know, a couple mistakes. He got caught on the uh, Tampa 2 backside safety. I was looking like, yo. Did you hear his explanation? Uh, no, I did not. What did he say? He said, like, I, yeah, I clearly saw it was covered, but I thought I, I thought we were going to get, it like, a pass interference. So, like, I got, you know, I tried to throw for the call. There. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I, I forget what he said. He, he was either, like, I was going to throw it outside the back of the end zone or yeah. I was going to give my guy a chance. Yeah. He's like, I was going to give him a chance. I thought it would eventually be pass interference. Yeah. If he, it, 
his thought process is right. It's just he never saw the backside safety. Typically, he, just, he thought it was double. Covered. Yeah. Well, no, because if it's Tampa two, that's your middle runner. We, we talk about how we pick on Cole Holcomb, how they pick on Michael Walker. Remember when uh, Josh Allen threw the touchdown pass and we saw was that uh, it was Miles Jack running up the scene with him. That's all Tampa two coverage. So you're hunting the same thing. It's just they never their backside receiver. I was it Odell? It was either Odell or Zay Flowers who's running like an in row. He got jammed up. So that safety never had nothing holding him. So literally, if me and you are the safeties and this is the middle runner, you're supposed to be over there. I'm supposed to be outside here and this is the linebacker. So the hole he's throwing to is more inside. But since that dude didn't have anything to look at, that's why he was able to cross over and jump that route coming as tight as he did. And that's why the ball was more inside. So it's like, I get what he was looking at. He just never saw the backside safety. Now, do we put that on the road? Do we put that on Lamar not seeing it? I think it's a little bit of both. I think, Lamar, you still have to see that backside safety if you can put that ball there because you could get the flag as long as that safety ain't there. But if that dude's there, there is no chance you can make that throw because there there is no window anymore. You got to already go over the linebacker, shallow to safety. But now you're putting it inside. That's where the other dude is going to be. So, yeah, it was like, man, I get your thought process, but – Bro, that ain't the one. And you got likely. No, did you see likely? <laughs> all likely you, throwing the hand up, bro. I'm open. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, did do that. Yeah, bro. All you needed to yeah. do there was get points to right. make it a one And you would have been game. fine, man. Yeah. You would have been fine. Yeah, that was that was a terrible pick. Yeah. But when you I was had looking, that and you had the fumble with Zay Flat, like those were those were terrible mistakes. But think about it, those are those are 14 points taken off the board realistically. Zay Flowers is diving into the end zone. That's a touchdown, man. If he don't fumble, that's a touchdown. Different game, uh different flow of the game instead. You get turnover in the end zone or on the yeah, goal line. Yeah, the, the thing with the whole different flow of the game is the other team's got my home. So if, if, you, oh, yeah, if you're ramping it up, I'm just thinking like, okay. He's, he's ready to turn up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think Shaq, Mahomes Shaq and, and Kobe, the bro. Chiefs and, the, and Reed, just how they called the second half yeah. of that game, they were just saying to themselves, almost what Tomlin said about the Ravens. Remember earlier mm-hmm. in the season? Yeah. Just let the Ravens self-destruct. They'll make their own mistakes. And that's what I thought the Chiefs and Mahomes and just how yeah. they call their offense did. It's like, all right, we're up two scores. Mm-hmm. Let's just Off- not do anything stupid. Offensively if something's there, we'll take it. But if not. Defensively, too. You saw Baltimore make the critical mistakes. Yeah. Roquan Smith, great idea. And it's like, well, why did you blast the guy the way that you blasted him? It's like it was certain things that you're doing that they're doing as a team. Barking with Kelsey to the point where my man Cal Van Noy runs over and headbutts him. Bing. It's like, bro, what are we doing? Jadavion Clowney, we know you already can barely hit Mahomes, let alone do you go out there and do the one thing that we know on Hot Boy tape you can't do. Yeah, but I'm like, yo, then you got the, the D lineman, bopped him in the mouth. I'm like, yo, y'all doing all the stuff that they don't need any extra help. They going to get all the extra calls anyways. They got Taylor Swift in the building. You know what the happening is, man. When you got the machine, you got all that going on, bro, you don't need to give them anything extra. And they was giving them all the extras, man. Yeah, I got mixed reactions to how Lamar played because I, I think he Could, underperformed, like as a whole. Yeah, but you could pull Still up. Still played well. I thought he played. You well, could man. pull up. You know the Zay Flowers fumble. Yeah. You could pull up. As I mentioned, I, I don't think mm-hmm. the coaching did him many favors. Yeah. What about the Zay Flowers fifteen yarder after the big time catch? Also. Yeah. 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 I thought, like I said, I thought Lamar played well. He had the turnover at the end. And that's always going to make it look worse because of it being a critical part of the game. And we know that you're trying to do what they say you can't do, right? Throw the football, get these guys back. But I thought he did a good job of throwing the football. I thought he did a good job of expend, extending plays and still keeping eyes downfield. That's why we say with the Josh Allen thing, it's like he'll extend, extend, extend to throw it. Whereas that was kind of the knock on Lamar up until this season. And I thought in this game, he did a good job of that. But yeah, when you make the critical mistake in that moment with the stakes as high, they're going to give you all the, you know, backhand, you know, compliments, and they're going to always have something janky to say about them now. But they're also the same. Why I said last week when Josh Allen lost to Patrick Mahomes, what are we talking about? Is there shame in losing to the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and the way that group is playing right now who went to their – that was their sixth consecutive AFC championship. And now they're going to how many Super Bowls in how many years? I'm not – about to act like that, you know, the Ravens are some god awful team and it choked. It's like, bro, that's also the Kansas City Chiefs we're talking about, man. They done done that to a lot of teams throughout the years. So I also kind of looked at it like that and wasn't as crazy about the Baltimore session. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think you uh run to the extremes with Lamar after this game. Yeah. Or people people should but you know but, people, I mean, people probably are. are. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people Lamar have started RB, to do that. Yeah. yeah. I seen people say Lamar Rivers. In the I was like, bro, like this that Kansas City Chiefs team is no different when we were talking about that Patriots team when we was doing this thing, man. Certain teams right now, this is their time, and it's like, man, everybody else is trying to knock them off. But it's like we can go down the list of all the different teams, all the different quarterbacks, the different styles of players. Now we're going to see, okay, can we have a more complete team but maybe a little bit less at quarterback? Can that be the difference versus a Mahomes team right now? But up until that takes place, man, tell me what's the surefire way to get them. Tell me who's the guy that, oh, yeah, he got the answer. Because right now, postseason, Mahomes is looking like postseason Brady, bro. Well, stop doing self-inflicting things. I mean, that's that's one. Piece I'm saying, of yeah, you don't have to. But teams did that against New England too. Now yeah. we know they had they did extra extra homework. That's yeah. what we call it. Used all their resources and then some. We don't know anything about that with the Chiefs just yet. We just know that they got Mahomes and Kelsey. It seems like it is like, oh, they can't do it without Tyreek Hill. Oh, they can't do it without Juju. Oh, they can't do it without this guy. It's like, bro, pick a receiver you want him to throw it to this week, man. Pick a receiver. The guy they traded for a year ago who was the first round that Kadarius Tony was sitting at the crib. Power. It's like, man, pick somebody. That's what they on right now, man. And then you got uh, on the west side. Did you have anything else with uh, this one? Yeah, I am yeah, I'm just thinking about the Lamar game. Because it's interesting. Like I I one side of it's like, yeah, I mean you just you just flat out didn't get the job done. Mm-hmm. You throw in that pick. That's as a, right. as a part of the game. Like yeah. that was a terrible and decision. That was, and that was a critical and mistake by him. You being I I think for like probably what the first two, two and a half quarters, he was mm-hmm. subpar in the passing game. Yeah. But then he also made some really explosive Exceptional plays, plays yeah. throughout. I mean, he, the one early to Zay Flowers, but then he, had the he Q- started picking it up in the second half. I so. like the QB run too that he had on like the fourth and one where he shoots it and hits like twenty something yards. Yeah. Like he has some moments. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things. I don't think the coaching staff did him many favors yeah. with just avoiding handing it off to the running backs. Like that was just hey, inexplicable. Right. You're not down twenty points. You're only down seven. It's you're like, only down uh, one score. Like why don't you still run a normal offense? But some of that too understand. is the Mahomes effect, bro. When yeah, you, you get too much against in your them, head. bro. Yeah, because you like I can't keep giving them the ball. If I don't score, I can't keep up, and that's a bad feeling, bro. And you know it's like all right, they might have let you off the hook this time, but whenever he needs to put a drive together. He's shown it doesn't matter what the rhythm is for them offensively. They can get a drive going, bro. And that's like the weird part. It's like they can be explosive or they can nitpick you to death. I was even surprised at Kansas City's ability to almost be more physical in the running game against Baltimore. That part was a little bit surprising to me when I would see Pacheco hitting it at times. I'm like, bro, this is actually what Baltimore does really well. They're physical. They're downhill. So that part kind of caught me off guard. But that's once again this new version of the Chiefs, man. So I guess th- this goes back to the conversation we were having last podcast. After seeing this game, I will take Josh Allen over Lamar Jackson. Oh man, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Uh uh-uh. uh, no. I-, I should hit you with yours. The Josh Allen. Josh Allen out, played better against the Chiefs than Lamar Jackson did. Right, that's like, a, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it problem. comes down to. Yeah. But and, and obviously we didn't know that Lamar was gonna play like this this week. I just also feel like, man, I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's a little bit different if those two, the fumble, and the in the penalty. But unfortunately, you can't. Yeah, it's unfortunate you can't get it back. Because I'm like, I look at Josh and I'll say, what happens if that digs catches? If that digs bomb is a completion, bro. If he catches that, what happens? Heck, if the field goal isn't wide right, what happens? Right? Yeah. It's like we can't. What if them two plays? You can't. What if them two plays? But yeah, I would agree. I thought that Josh did play better. Yeah, it just more clean yeah. and better effort. And eh, well, that was the Chiefs. Built, that was like a back and forth game, yeah. kind of right. Mm-hmm. It was back and forth all the way up to the end. Yeah, because yeah. it should have been. It would have been time to go to overtime. Yeah, I I feel like he's more equipped for the comeback to yeah. one down. Whereas you could see like the Ravens, they got down, it got weird, and they yeah. typically don't play down. Right, and they're like, all right, what do we do? And then they just decided to not to run the ball anymore. Yeah, it's like, yo, we're just gonna let's drop just give it to Lamar and have he's him throwing to Odell, scramble around and make plays. Zay, it's like this isn't Isaiah. this isn't the best way to run an offense right now. Yeah, 
It, I mean, at points it worked. Like, the Ravens yeah. were very much back in the game at certain points, but then they'd yeah. make the stupid mistake. The thing, too, that you said was uh, with Lamar extending the plays. When he was able to escape their pressure and extend the play, you would see him make them big passes, right? But we would agree. Kansas City, I thought, did an excellent job of corralling him. It was one play. He scrambled, 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 and he ended up, like, lofting it that. and just, like, runs out of bounds. I'm like, yeah. we have never seen Lamar – not be able to get out of something seven seconds into a play and it was like three defenders corralling him as he went out of bounds and that was the part where you're just like if he can't extend it and still make the player use his legs that's gonna be an issue but shout out to the Chiefs man so where do you have Lamar um I mean I still had him in my five I think so I think so he was in my five I had him I think he's my five though like to me I have Mahomes Josh and then from there, I go Burrow. Yeah, I probably put Lamar after that. Yeah. yeah and I then at five, you could five. yeah five we could put whoever we want to go in that mix of your Herberts, your Dags, your Hurts, That's like the thing any with of them. All those at five, guys. It, yeah. As much as you want to look at yesterday's game with Lamar and say it's a disappointment, he, he did do good things. Yeah. But also, none none of those guys have, have taken, advanced past Lamar right. in like, their careers. Because to me, as much as I like, and I'm Lamar biased, is just a flat out. Bigger a, winner yeah. overall than any of those. Oh yeah, guys. he wins like crazy. Yeah, and so to me, because this is what Lamar's second time now securing a one. You seed can maybe too. throw Rodgers if if you want to go off yeah, the legacy with enough. him, like in the top five, put right. him over Lamar. Fair depending enough. on how you feel, but like yeah. now he's Help. coming off the Achilles. Yeah, so we'll see. But reputation, yeah, Rodgers five. Because outside of that, who do we definitively? Are you putting Stafford? Stafford? Are you going? Stafford? Are you going golf? Are you going Purdy? Because Purdy played well. I thought Purdy did some things. 